and welcome back everybody silas here today and we are off on another adventure i didn't know if i was going to record anything this week or not but a bunch of stuff just came up so it looks like i am i'm not going to spend a whole lot of time explaining what's going on this week but i'll just give you a little bit of a, a basic rundown i've got a guy bringing some old trucks tonight i've got a guy picking up some old trucks tomorrow i've got a guy picking up some more old trucks the next day and then i've got a guy picking up some more the next day and another guy bringing some the next day and so there's a bunch going on basically in addition to that the guy that bought all these noses is going to be here, uh, I think, in a week and a half or so, and so I need to finish cutting a few of those. In addition to all of that, I've got to keep crushing cars. So there's a bunch going on this week, so I guess buckle up and let's go for a ride. making pretty good progress in here. Those of you that watch my channel all the time will remember not that long ago, it was solid cars along both sides of this road and I just barely had a path and there was cars stacked up on either side. And then this pile of cars here is drastically reduced as well. I believe these cars, I stacked these before I even started a YouTube channel. So they've been here a long time. Probably tomorrow, I'm guessing. Maybe the next day just kind of depends on how things go all of these will be gone and this area will be wide open again. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna work on this area here or if I want to go up there and that stack of cars up there, focus on those. But one of the others is what we're going to work on. So we'll just see whatever we get to then. Right now, it's about time for me to head out. I've got to head out to the other yard. A guy's coming with those old trucks. Here we go, some fresh arrivals. Check out these turn signals. Those are glass in there. I've only ever seen big ones like that with glass. I think once, double-sided, they're kind of rusty, but they're both there. Mostly, what are those? Ohio turn direction signal. Ohio turn direction signal. Guy could do some body work on those, make them look pretty good again, but the glass is still good and it was the coolest part. But actually, he's wanting to keep those. The guy that sold me these trucks, he just forgot to pull them before he brought them in. So when he brings the next load of cabs in, he'll pull those off. This in here is kind of kinked in the face a little bit, but we can work with that, straighten that back out. I don't believe there's a motor in this one. Yeah, there's no motor in this one, which is unfortunate because that would have been a probably a good motor I could use. I think it's got pretty good doors. The cab isn't too terrible, really. 
guess that door doesn't open. This door is wired shut, so <laughs> I guess we don't get to see what's inside of here. But looking up in here, it looks pretty solid. So I think this cab here will be a good cab. Someone will buy this cab. I won't cut it up. I probably will cut the nose off of it though, just because that's the best way to make money on them. Next up, we got an old Dodge Pilot House. This is kind of a cool one because it's a five window. Once again, this cab isn't too terrible. It's got one crunch door, but these doors aren't that rare. But the floors are pretty solid. The roof is pretty solid in it. So I guess in here, once again, somebody will buy that cab being a five window. And then the nose on this one here will probably get chopped off. I don't think I've ever sold one of these noses on these old trucks, these old Pilot House Dodges. I'm sure it's still got the original flathead in it. There we go. There we go, got it open. That's got a six blade fan in it. That's kind of rare. Oh, it's got a Spitfire. Huh, the head, I don't know if you can see it. It says Spitfire on it. It's upside down, but that's actually pretty cool there. That's not the original engine in this truck, I don't believe. And last but not least, we have a Ford. I'm not sure what year this is. Looks like a 58. Yeah, I think this is a 58. It's a custom cab, so it's got the chrome grill in it. It's a little bit beat up, so more than likely that's going to be a wall hanger. It's super rusty. This truck is rusted out really bad. Doors are gone already. But it is kind of cool because it has the factory radio in it as well as the painted and chrome gauges, which they're covered in surface rust they'll need restored. But it does have that, as well as the chrome around the windshield. And then the back of the cab would work for a headboard or something like that. I'm sure it's just got an old Y block or something under the hood. So probably nothing special there. Uh, it looks like the radiator's still in it, so there we go. All three of these, they were complete trucks, but he's from a little ways away, and so to make it worth his time to haul them to me, he just knocked them all in half, and he's going to scrap the back halves of them locally. But with that, I am done for the day. I'm going to head home. First thing in the morning, I'll be right back out here. I'm going to load up that Bel Air and that Blazer, and we'll see what else we can get into. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but this is some intense fog right here. You can only see about half a block. That's all you can see beyond that. You can barely see headlights about a block away. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. I haven't seen fog like this in a while. There we go, headed to their new home. For those that don't remember, the 64, I bought that at an auction. I believe that video was posted already, but that one actually runs. It's just a six cylinder, but they fired it right up at the auction. So kind of a cool car there, super straight, a little bit of rust, but it is a super straight, all original car. And then this one here is one that we drug out of the trees. And it was abandoned on some property north of town. Been sitting since the early 90s. Guy called one day and said, if you come get these out of here, you can have them. So we went up there and he drug them out with an excavator, kind of tore them up a little bit, but it is what it is. Sometimes you got to roll with the punches, but I'm glad to see him go to a new home. Gets me a little bit of room. He's coming back tomorrow for another load and that'll get me a little bit more room, but not enough. I need to sell some more stuff.
making pretty good progress. All the cars that were stacked up right here are all gone and crushed now, so this is all open. Once I move these two truck beds to wheels, I'll be able to go all the way back there. And uh, if we don't get any rain, maybe or later this month or next month, I can start working on that pile back there because there's a truck I really want to dig out back behind all those. I would absolutely love to have all of these gone right through here. What is it? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine junk cars right here. I'll probably keep the old Caprice and there's a couple Ford trucks in here and a few other old cars. I'll probably hang on to all those, but there's a few junk cars right here. So if I could get these gone, that would give me quite a bit more room. I'd love to get this done right now while prices are high because prices won't be high forever. So if I could have all of this gone, this will give me an area to stack a lot of loads of cars. Once prices go back down, that way I can stash them and wait for prices to go back up again. When I was a kid, I loved these Thunderbirds of that body style. I thought they were the coolest things, but you now you can't save them all. So I'm gonna grab it out of there and smash it. And I think that's about all the damage for today. I think there's three semi loads here and then I got one more semi load over on the other side. Here's that old Jaguar. If it would have had a grill on this one, I might have cut the nose off of it. But missing the grill and missing this down here, I thought, you know what, no one's ever going to want that. But I'm still going to save some of these newer noses as long as they look halfway decent still. Monte Carlo SS, just a good amount of junk here. But I think I'm done for the day. It's about 5.30 now. In the morning, I'm gonna go back out to the other yard and load two more cars up and we'll see what else we can get into. Well, I just about accomplished my goal. I got all but two cars crushed out of this area right here. They're ready to go. I just gotta pull the wheels off and then I can crush them. But I had that other guy bringing all those cars in plus a bunch of other people brought cars out today. So I spent most of my day crushing other cars and didn't have time to get to those. But for sure, Monday when I come back, those will be gone and this whole area will be cleared out except for the old vehicles. We've got five loads on the ground ready for next week. They're supposed to come out on Tuesday and start hauling these. So by then, counting what I crushed Monday, I'll probably have at least six, maybe seven loads ready to go. Got one load over there and four loads over here. So makes some pretty good room. It doesn't look like I made any room in the yard. It's still pretty crowded, but compared to what it was, I think we made pretty good progress. But now I'm done here. I got to head back out to my place. I got a guy bringing an old Ford truck and a guy bringing an old Chevy truck in tonight. And maybe a guy coming to look at some old cars. In addition to that, I've got to clean out that blue crew cab international because he's coming to get it in the morning. So I've got a car sitting right beside it. I'm going to just take all the scrap iron out of the crew cab, throw it in the car and anything I want to keep, I'll go ahead and put in the building.
This truck here is kind of a junkie. Junker. <laughs> a junkie junker. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm tired. Tell you it's kind of rusted out, but it does have good color, so I think somebody will buy that. It is a custom cab. It's got the chrome gauges. It's got the chrome strips on the dash. It's got the emblems on it. It's got the chrome around the windshield, so it's got some good parts there. This cab honestly isn't that terrible. It's kind of borderline though. These cabs aren't that hard to find, and so I don't know if this one's going to be salvageable or not. We'll give it one chance when we get to that. The uh, front clip on this one's pretty beat up, kind of rusty, but it'll make a good wall hanger. We can chop that off later. It's got a 352 under the hood, still turns. Check this out though. The dealership name on this, Fred Jones, kind of has the Ford script on it. I don't know how he didn't get sued for that because that's pretty close, but it must be just enough different to where he couldn't get in trouble. This was at an auction last week and a buddy of mine bought it and brought it to me. Still has the key in it even. Like I say, the floors have a little bit of rust in them. I mean, I've seen a lot worse get fixed, but I've seen a lot better too, so. Oh, it's got the uh, door panel trim on it as well, so. It's got a lot of good custom cab options. It's got the trim over the top of the door and down the sides. So, honestly, it'll probably part out for a whole lot more than what it's worth complete, so we'll probably go ahead and knock this one on the head. It's got really good color on the back of the cab, so this will be one here that I can slice it right here and then sell that for a headboard or whatever they want to make out of it and then the doors have good color as well so i can probably sell those take that junky mirror off of there but for now i'm going to stash it out back i need to move a few vehicles i believe they're just about here with the next truck so i want to move this aside get that unloaded and then i need to clean out that crew cab that's over there so you guys can watch me do all that That was a lot of work, but we are done. I got it all cleaned out. All that's in there now is parts for this truck. What's left of the seats are all there, but they're kind of mangled from all that heavy weight on top of them. Uh, headlight ring, and I think that air breather went to this truck. Maybe, maybe not. If he doesn't want it, he can throw it away later. But got all the junk out of it. Got all the junk out of the back. I got to put the tailgate back real quick. But I got quite a bit of stuff out of there. This car is packed full, <laughs> clear full. I figure there's about 1,500 pounds of scrap that I got out of there, just scrap iron and stuff like that. And there's a whole big pile of generators and starters, uh, electric motors, a little bit of copper. There's one chunk of brass down in there somewhere. I don't remember where it's at now, but there's a little bit of stuff there. Then I got all these iron wheels out of the back of it. Two of these, the ones on top, actually were Skylers. I bought those from Skyler. I think they're kind of neat. I was gonna throw them in the scrap, but then I got to look at them and I think they kind of have some art art look to them they're kind of neat when they're all taken apart like that so i went ahead and saved those that was out there in the dirt beside the truck so i went ahead and saved that for art this big transmission was in there that's part of the 1500 pounds that's more than i want to lift though by myself so i'll just let that lay right there i'll get it with the loader later that truck's gonna be a lot lighter to move now <laughs> And then I got all this stuff out of it as well. Got a whole bunch of fence chargers down here. And most of those, I'm sure all of those are just junk. They probably don't work. But they've got lots of neat little uh, placards on the front of them. And switches and little glass lights and things like that. So for art purposes, there's a bunch of good stuff there. I've got an old fan chain, gears, uh, little pulleys. This is all just art type stuff here. A couple of hubcaps. And then here's a little bit more art. This is kind of a neat pulley here with that design. I've never seen one quite like that. Uh, the speedometer, I have no clue what that goes to. I'm assuming a tractor of some sort, but it goes all the way up to 80 miles an hour. So that makes me think it's not a tractor and it's something else. So if uh, you know what this goes to, let me know in the comments because I have no clue what that goes to. And then I got all these carburetors. I don't know if these are any good or not. I don't know what most of them go to. This one here is kind of unique looking. Big old one barrel on top and two barrel on the bottom. So I don't know what that even is. Uh, quadra junk, an old auto light. This here is for a 1970 Chrysler Mopar 383, and this is for a 1960, I believe, Buick 401. I looked up the part numbers on those. This one's probably not worth much, but this in here might be worth a little bit for a core. I mean, I say that they're 
minimum of $25 for cores on those and I don't know I'll look them up later see if they're worth keeping and then last but not least this 57 international headlight ring here it's pretty rough it's kind of cracked right here but when I'm cutting noses off of old trucks you never know when I might need one of those so I'll hang on to that so got a few goodies out of that truck I didn't know what was in it when I bought it but he's gonna be here in the morning to pick that up in that Jeep so I guess I'll just see you guys then it's starting to get late and I'm worn out we've got a crazy busy day tomorrow so see you in the morning Okay, I think I'm finally done with customers today. I think I've, well, I have one more person bringing some iron out, but that's it. But I think I've bought and sold all that I'm gonna buy and sell today. The 54 that I just unloaded actually came from a subscriber. Uh, him and his son like to watch the channel. They saw me struggling to get my fire going here not long ago, so they sent some kindling. So I just wanna say thank you to Jace. Thank you for that firewood right there. That's gonna be super handy in the cabin. This old 54 is pretty cool. It's pretty clean. It's got a lot of surface rust on it, but uh, it's not too terrible rust-wise looks pretty solid down in the corners well this is a 53 okay I'm sorry this is 53 here but yeah it's got decent inside the visor is not too terribly rusty floor pans look pretty good so yeah I think somebody will buy the sheet metal it's got a few dents in the top of the cab you can kind of see where it's caved in a little bit but that's typical for old farm trucks then there's this N series truck here I don't know if this is an N5 or 600 that's an N600, I can see it now. Once again, pretty clean truck. Very little rust, it does have a dent right here on both sides, so it's a little bit beat up, but rust wise, it's pretty solid. The floors are solid, so uh, I think somebody will be into this truck. There wasn't a single car driving by until I started recording this thing, and now everybody's driving by, so probably loud. <laughs> but uh, it's got an old, uh, probably a 360 or 390 in it i'm thinking this one's late 60s i don't know for sure what year this is they made this body style from like 63 to 69 or 70 or something like that i don't know for sure but this one's got side marker lights on it so i'm thinking it's like 68 or 9 i could be off on that a little bit but that's just my guess and now it is monday it's actually been a few days 
Friday night, it just got to be dark and I was out here so late moving those trucks in and dealing with a few other people that I never had time to close this video out. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. There was a lot of cool vehicles in this one. So definitely let me know in the comments, which one was your favorite? Personally, my favorite vehicle was the blue Crew Cab International. I just really liked that truck and I'm glad he bought it because he's, he's a friend of mine and uh, I was really tempted to not buy that one, but I had already priced it to him and agreed to sell it to him. <laughs> and so I went ahead and let him have it. But that one, if it hadn't sold when it did, if it would have been around here a little bit longer, I might've kept it. But in all honesty, I have no business keeping anything. I already have more projects than I'll ever have time to do. So <laughs> I just need to keep moving. But anyway, as always, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And remember to get out there and find an adventure. And we'll see you on the next one.